Now it's interesting sometimes how a subject comes up because um, you know, I always want to depend upon the Holy Spirit to guide me. I don't. One of the things I don't speak a subject based on what is popular in the world. Absolutely not. I wait for the Spirit to guide me on what subject I shall select, and God always works it out. I think all of you can testify to that. Let me ask you a question: How often do you hear pastors preaching on the subject of righteousness or holiness? They're very similar. How often do you hear pastors or teachers or whatever、uh, titles they give themselves preach or teach on the subject of righteousness or holiness? And I think you will agree with me if you're following the global situation theologically. Most pastors do not like to teach on the subject of holiness or righteousness. Ever wonder why? Now I cannot judge anybody's heart, so that's not what I'm doing. But you know, obviously, being around for forty years, doing ministry and traveling around the world, and you know, listening to other people, etc., etc., I think I can give you. I have four possible reasons, or five maybe. <laughs> five. Reason number one. Okay, just think about this, and you will see where I'm going with this message. Reason number one. Fear of giving the impression that salvation is by works. Yeah, I think some pastors are afraid to speak of righteousness because they fear that they may give the wrong impression. Salvation is by works. Well, we know that salvation is not by works. We know that. But why should we fear? If the Lord talks about it, we should talk about it, right? Amen. Here is number two. Fear. Oh, by the way, we have somebody from、um, just joining from、um, uh, Kenya. I think it is Kenya, Africa. Praise the Lord. Welcome, brother. Good to have you. Yeah, amen. Okay, fear of preaching legalism. Yeah, that's a valid fear. The fear. So some pastors avoid preaching about righteousness because they're afraid they may end up preaching legalism. Well, I, I don't think that's a good enough reason because if you're faithful to the word of God, you will never go there. Number three, the fear of encouraging self-righteousness. Well, again, that is a legitimate fear, but that's not a good enough reason to not preach. And something that Christ has preached about. Do I hear Amen? Number four. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving you five reasons why I think the subject isn't popular. Fear of losing members and money, who have no interest in the subject of righteousness. Think about that one. Can you imagine somebody not preaching a pastor not preaching on the subject of righteousness because he fears that he will lose members and money because they don't want to hear the subject? Wow, and here is a possible reason number five. You chew on it, you digest it. Not judging anybody, but again, I've been around long enough and seen things. Here's number five. Maybe some pastors don't preach about righteousness because of a failure on their part to live righteously.、Mm, a failure. Their own. Personal failure to live righteously. In other words, because they fail to practice the lifestyle of righteousness, it kind of、uh, it's kind of hypocritical to speak on the subject of righteousness. All right, I don't know. Whatever the reason or reasons, the Lord Yeshua spoke on the subject of righteousness, and all the writers of the Bible wrote on the subject of righteousness. And the entire Bible, both in the Old Testament and New Testament, speak on the subject of righteousness. So, since I am supposed to be a minister of Christ, a pastor, and I represent Christ and not a denomination and not my personal opinion, it behooves me to preach and teach on the subject of righteousness. Do I hear you mention that? That's my job. That's my task. It's not whether I like the, the the task. I must do what I'm called to do. Do I hear Amen? Do I hear Amen? That's the job of a pastor to feed the flock, to feed the body of Christ. That which is in the Bible, not the favorite scriptures. Okay, let's turn to the scripture that says, "I'm going to bless you. I'm going to give you money." There are hundreds, literally hundreds, maybe thousands of scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. That address the subject of righteousness and holiness. Why then should that not be preached? It is such a big subject in the mind of God, yet it's not preached. Ever wonder why the church is so corrupt? The churches are corrupt. The churches are almost like the world today. Perhaps because, because 
we don't address the subject of righteousness. So afraid. Well, I'll give you exactly what the Bible says. Now, this sermon can take a hundred parts. I will try not to, I'll try to avoid a hundred parts. It's a big subject, obviously a very big subject. Let's see what best we can do. Open your Bibles to 1 John chapter 2. Most of everything I teach today will come from this section of scripture, but I will have some supporting scriptures to make the point. 1 John chapter 2. Now I'm reading from the NKJV. 1 John chapter 2, verse 28. I'll begin with verse 28. Read on to chapter 3, verse 12, and you will see why. So here's my plan. And now, little children, abide in him. That when he appears... We may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, if you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who practices righteousness is born of him. 